What's up guys, it's Nick here and today I'm going to be making a very basic tutorial on how to use the new Pike Events API. Uh, I've made a tutorial in the past but there has been a lot of changes and there has been a lot of people asking me um, like how do, I, how do I do this, how do I do that, it doesn't exist anymore. So yeah, that's why I'm going to be making this new tutorial. So let's get started. Um, the first thing that we, ha we have to do when using the API uh, is actually initialize it first. Uh, if you guys remember in the last tutorial, uh, we reloaded some stuff on the onload method from Bucket, and it's still the recommended way to do it, so we're still going to do that. So we do public void onload. And first, uh, the first thing that you have to do is do uh, packet events create these and load perfect and then we have to go to our on enable method and we do packet events get initialize and then we put the plugin instance just like that and lastly we go to on disable and we do packet events get stop perfect so we're pretty much done but uh, if you guys remember in the last tutorial, uh, there was a couple of settings that we could change within the API, like uh, if we should inject players asynchronously. Asynchronously? Is that a word? Yeah, that's a word. Um, and stuff like that. So if you want to change the settings, you have to do it uh, before you call the load method. And I'm going to show you what I mean. First, we're going to go at the top and we'll do packet events create again this dot get settings and as you can see here's the uh, the different settings that you can enable or disable uh, we have check for updates inject async and uh, the most important one uh, is the backup server version uh, what is the backup server version is um, when packet events starts up um, it will uh, try to get the server version, obviously. Uh, but there's, in some cases, uh, it's not able to do that. For example, if you're using a very weird spigot fork and it's modified in a way where you can possibly get this, or maybe they changed the way to get this and Packet Events is not able to get it. Uh, the backup server, poo, English, yeah. The, the backup server version, basically, it's. Um, if the server fails, uh, oh no, if packet events fail to load the server version, uh, it's going to use the version that we put in here. And so yeah, that's what we're, we're going to do just for safety. So if it fails to load the server version for some weird reason, which should be very rare, and you shouldn't even worry about it. Anyway, uh, if it fails, we'll put the server version oh, uh, as uh, server version dot 1.8.8 perfect and if we do dot again we can keep going and basically changing every single setting that we want so let's do one more let's do check for updates two perfect so now it's going to check for updates and we put a backup server version uh, but as you guys can see in here we we use the packet events dot create method first and then we're calling it again uh, you only need to call the create method once so since we did it in here when we change the settings we have to change this to packet events get and load perfect so now we're pretty much done alright so now I'm gonna show you guys how to actually listen for packets and make a packet listener um, there's actually two ways I think there's more but uh, as far as I'm aware there's two ways to make a packet listener with the way I'm going to show you. So the first one is what I call the lazy way and which is to make it everything in the main class because you're lazy like me and you're bored to make another class and extend what I'm about to show you. So yeah that's what we're going to do. So uh, we're going to do packet events get register listener and new packet listener oops oh my god new packet listener dynamic and as you can see there's a couple of methods that we can implement uh, but for this example we're just going to use the on packet play receive 
perfect and let's make this a little bit better all right perfect so now um this is one way to make a packet listener uh but what i recommend you guys to do is actually make a separate class and extend packet listener dynamic and then implement this method within your class and then register the listener and then register that class as a listener and but we're just going to do it the lazy way for now so now that we can listen for packets um, let's try listening for a packet basically so let's do if e get packet id equals packet type play client uh, let's do arm animation sure so if it's an arm animation packet uh, we'll broadcast or actually no we'll send a player a message uh, send message you have swung swung is that a word I think that's a word if that's not a word just don't make fun of me all right I tried uh, you have swung your arm perfect so I'll compile this and I'll see you guys in game all right so we are now in game and ignore the whole mess I was just playing around with my anti-cheat and anyways if we try to swing our arm as you can see we're s we're getting a message and so everything is working perfectly but there's a lot of more things to do when using the API and I'm now I'm gonna show you guys how to actually send packets to players so yeah let's go back to our IDE all right so we're gonna make this a little bit better now since we're gonna be listening for multiple packets I uh, will do player p equals e get player so we'll make a player variable and then we'll do switch e get packet id uh, we're still going to be listening for this packet we're not going to remove this so we'll do case break and I'll we'll send the message just like we did before perfect so let's listen for another packet let's do case packet type play client chat so if it, if we receive a chat packet from the player uh, let's send him a packet let's do wrapped packet out entity teleport teleport equals new wrapped packet out entity teleport and if we do comma as you can see it needs uh, the entity ID location and the on ground value um, what we're basically doing here is we're creating a wrapped packet that we can uh, send to the player uh, you can wrap packets uh, for example if we want to get uh, what message the player sends from this packet uh, that we listen uh, w we're gonna wrap this up first so we'll do wrapped packet in chat chat equals new wrapped packet in chat and we're gonna put the packet as a parameter and then if we want to get the message we do chat dot get message and you can the same applies for every single packet for example if we if we listen for the use entity packet and you want to get the action of the player like if you if he interacted with the entity uh, we're just gonna make a wrapped packet and we'll put the packet as a parameter and then we're gonna get what they did uh, but for this example we're just gonna show uh, sending this packet to the player so let's see what it needs again it needs entity ID so we'll do p get entity ID the location will do p get location add and let's add him like 30 blocks up so we'll do 0 30 0 and comma on ground false perfect and in order to set this send this packet to the player we'll do packet events get get player utils dot and as you can see there's a couple of methods in here that are very useful like um, get pink and stuff like that inject but we're just gonna use the send packet method so send packet it needs the player so we'll do p and then the wrapped packet that we created so we'll do teleport so I'll compile this and I'll see you guys in game again alright so if we try to swing our arm 
as you can see we're still uh, everything that we did before still works and if we try to send a message I think I hit a block let's see yep it works fuck why do I always die in my tutorials? Anyway, so everything's working perfectly. If we try to send a message, we're just gonna go to the air and die like idiots. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I think I've covered uh, the basic things of listening packets and sending packets. There's obviously there's way more things that you can learn over time. And I, I would highly recommend you guys to check the GitHub repository and the documentation because everything is very well documented. And if you guys have any questions, make sure to leave a comment and I'll help, I'll help you as soon as I come online. So anyway, that's it for today's video and thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later. Peace. I think I'm falling for you.